Who on earth would ever want a horribly heavy railway carriage that's bulletproof and has no openable windows? The goddamn president of America, that's who! Built by the Pullman Company in 1929 and given the name Ferdinand Magellan, the carriage was used as a private luxury vehicle for many years. Then, in 1942, it was decided by the US Secret Services that the President needed a specially equipped and armoured carriage, seeing how he was the President of America and there was a war going on. Ferdinand Magellan was chosen and became the second American rail car built for a President, the first being built for Abraham Lincoln in 1865. After being overhauled and refitted, the the coach was equipped with four bedrooms, a large dining room and observation lounge, a suite for the president and first lady with a fully equipped bathroom, quarters for two stewards, a pantry and a galley. The dining room also had a solid mahogany table that could seat eight people so it could also be used as a conference room. The carriage was also fitted with 16mm armoured plates on the sides, tops, bottoms and ends with the windows being 3 inch thick, 12 ply laminated, bullet resistant glass. Because the windows were sealed for safety, the carriage was air conditioned using ice and air vents. The carriage also had a bank vault style door at the rear entrance, an escape hatch in the lounge and bathroom respectively, exterior loudspeakers for public address, and a custom wheelchair elevator that could lift Roosevelt into the carriage. The lift was later removed after Roosevelt's presidency ended. After all of its modifications, it weighed almost 130 tons. Ferdinand Magellan travelled all over the US during the war and until Roosevelt died in 1945. Harry Truman later used it for his whistle stop camp campaign speeches, giving almost 350 speeches from the carriage's rear platform. Dwight D. Eisenhower also used it, mostly to visit his brother in Pennsylvania and once rode it all the way to Ottawa, Canada for a parliamentary meeting. After 1954, the increased use of Air Force One made the carriage surplus and it was eventually acquired by the Gold Coast Railroad Museum in 1958. It was later refurbished and loaned to Ronald Reagan's presidential campaign in 1984. The train only made five stops but it was enough to draw train spotters and win Reagan the election. It was also the last time the carriage was ever used, with some sources saying that the president loved it. It now remains in the Gold Coast Railroad Museum in Florida as a rather interesting look into a much different time before the president could just fly away at will. Subscribe for more.